Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. I have just filmed my jumbo waves, my very, very glam waves. This is what I tend to do when I curl my hair. Of course, using one of the Mark Kale Pick and Mix. You guys know I absolutely love um, the Pick and Mix. My aim in life is to collect all of it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If I seem a bit quiet, I'm so tired. I'm literally so tired. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and let's get straight onto it. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do when you get your Mark Hill Pick Mix is obviously you need the wand and then your chosen waiver. So I'm going to be showing you guys the Wicked Waver. This was my very first um, wand that I picked up and it's probably my favourite one that I've got because you can do two kind of different hairstyles with this and I'll show you all what I mean in a second. Okay, so when you put it in, you just literally put it in and then just lock it into place like so like that obviously turn it on that would be a great start and we are going to now just put some heat protectant in our hair the one thing i find with this i have burnt myself numerous times numerous times with this wand um and it's really really hot like i do think it does get really hot with this one um so we're gonna make sure our hair is nice and protected with some heat spray curled my hair since having my hair cut um obviously my hair was a lot longer like six months ago um so it'd be interesting to see what it will look like um i think my hair has relatively grown quite a bit so i think it should be okay but we're now just going to section our hair i do find that's a really really important to section your hair with this wand because where it's so thin and um, you only need like an inch an inch a bit of hair like you just need the smallest bit of hair it does take a little longer than the usual ones um, but it is really important because if you take too much of a big chunk of hair it's just not going to curl properly so i like to just take half up and then half down I've also had curtain bangs put into place, so that'll be interesting to see how that curls, but... <laughs> okay, so now that we've sectioned our hair, we're going to take about a inch of hair, just a tiny, tiny bit. Like I said, you don't want to take too much, otherwise it won't curl properly and it won't sit around the barrel. Um, you're then going to get your waver. Be very careful not to burn yourself because, fun. I've burnt myself numerous times with this um, and we're gonna just wrap it around for best results I try and get it within the ridges like so we're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds and then let go I like to hold it in its place um, just because I feel like it holds the curl a little bit more rather than just kind of dropping it straight away. So I just hold it for about five seconds and then bring it down and you can see how much of a bouncy curl it is. It literally, oh my god, it's so curly. Pretty. Okay, now on to the next bit of hair. So we're going to do it the exact same way, just wrap it round mainly try and get within the ridges if you can't then it's not an issue um but i just feel like it makes it look a little bit more curlier when you do get it around the ridges oh i dropped that <laughs> but we'll hold it in place for a little bit longer there we go Okay, next bit of hair, we're gonna get about an inch or so. And 
wrap it around, hold it for 10 seconds and then keep it nice and tight and drop it okay onto this section so what i'll do i'll do the bottom half and then i'll speed up the top half but onto this bit so we're gonna i always do it towards the face rather than away just because that's how i prefer the curl but it's completely entirely up to you how you do it Hold it. Drop it down. You can see how bouncy it is. So with this wand, I will show you guys at the end how you can make it a little bit more looser. I prefer more of a looser wave. Um, so I do just grab my brush at the end and brush it through. But alternatively, you can just wear it nice and tight like this because it does drop down throughout the day Okay guys, so it looks hella crazy right now. You're probably thinking, what on earth? I do not want my hair to look like that. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the sections out and just go through with our fingers and just lightly brush them. You might find some curls are a little bit more curlier than others. That's just depending on the kind of size that you took of your hair. 
but I don't like my hair to be completely flat at the top so I always just kind of go through my fingers just so that it's got a little bit of volume to it. And I prefer to have like a side parting so I'm just going to make sure that the parting is near enough to the side. Okay so you could leave it as curly as this if you want to. I don't pre preferably like it like this. I prefer it a little bit more looser. So I'm just going to take a big paddle brush and I'm just going to brush through. And this is just going to make the curls a lot more looser and more bouncier if that makes sense. Can you guys see? Um, but I'm going to really lightly do it otherwise it ends up going a little bit frizzy we don't want that but this kind of gives it a little bit more kind of glam kind of Hollywood-esque vibes and I much prefer having big bouncier curls Okay guys, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. So it's got that really nice kind of big wave to it now that we've brushed it out. It's a little bit different than what I usually would have it because of my curtain bangs. Obviously I haven't tried doing this since I've had my curtain bangs put on. Because um, usually that would just kind of blend in a little bit better. But um, we we'll make do with it. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I will leave um, everything that I've used down below. I've done a few more. I reviewed a few more other um ones i think i've done the mermaid wave and also the jumbo one so i'll leave that down below if you want to have a look um and yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed thank you so much for watching and yeah only thing left to do is a bit of a hairspray bar i don't actually have any hairspray would you believe i've run out <laughs> so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video i hope you guys take care stay safe and i'll see you guys soon bye guys <laughs>